Good morning. My name is Insane Raven. This is the Insane Raven YouTube channel. A YouTube channel that sometimes just goes on month long breaks because I'm sad. How are you guys doing? That's uh, that's a gross over um, explanation. Like, I feel like we skipped a couple of steps in that, but I'm going to talk about that in a second. Where have I been for the past month? Well, you know, every now and then I do these episodes and they kind of fit almost a bit too close to home which is always interesting when that happens because I don't I'm not trying to make one-for-one one comparisons but every now and then a one-for-one one comparison happens so this is a very short episode so right before we really get into it I want to kind of just talk about where I was and why it's a bit important so the last two weeks which should have been the last episode um, last week, or like two weeks ago. I was in Thailand. I was far, far away from my recording setup and you guys. So, that was a bit difficult to uh, come and talk to you guys for those reasons. But, because of that, it I just couldn't get an episode out. And then before that, the week before I left for the channel, when your last video, your last podcast episode was to be expected, there was a death of a family friend. Um, you know, this person who passed, I highly regard as one of my mentors, if not anything. Um, and it was hard. I... It was one of the things where, like, I felt like I... And I still kind of feel this to an extent that I had let him down in many ways. And I'm still kind of grappling with that. I'm not going to lie. I'm putting on a very sunshiny disposition on him now because I know that I haven't and I know that it's in my head. But I'm still very much in grief. And one of the things that didn't help with that was that his funeral was when I was on the trip. So it made... And I knew that he was, I was going to miss his funeral. And, you know, he chose to be cremated. So there isn't, like, a grave that I can go visit. But it was... It was quite an unhappy situation. And it was a thing where, like, I just... I wasn't sure if I could talk about a game that's all about the stages of grief. And it's all about the... You know, going through that while I was going through my own so prevalently. You know, I I do miss him dearly. Um, you know, and I'm now kind of in the I don't know how to handle it personally, so I'm avoiding it type thing. And it... And I need to work on that. I, I do, but... I, I couldn't talk about Gris without the possibility of breaking down and crying, which then makes a audio-only uh, entertainment medium quite difficult when I'm blubbering. Um, so that's why I couldn't talk about it. And then I went on vacation for two weeks, and I messed with elephants, and I very much did not deal with it. So now I'm, I'm back and I'm kind of dealing with it now. Um, but I'm going to make the videos that I always make. I'm going to make the podcast episodes that I always make um, for two reasons. One, um, I promised you I would and I'm a man of my word. And until Kingdom Hearts 2 comes on the channel, I am bound by that, you know. And I could have told you, but I didn't. And um, that makes me feel even more guilty. Like I'm letting more people down. So, it's very much a catch-22, as it were. Um, but yeah, so that's that's kind of where I was gone. And I'm, and I'm sorry I didn't get to say anything before I left. I do want to welcome the new subscribers I got in that time period. And uh, let's talk about Gris. Another game dropped by Devolver Digital, which honestly is just the producers that can do no wrong in my eyes. Every time Devolver Digital drops a game, I feel like the world's a better place for it. 
um, Gris was actually my Fall Guy bean costume for a while, which was really fun. Like I, I liked being able to dress up as Gris as I as I was playing. I didn't realize like how heavy hitter of a of a publishing studio Devolver Digital was. But right now they just did like two days ago, they just did their whole not quite E three E three showcase, which was really cool. Which was really, really cool. Um but Gris is beautiful. Gris is a game that is all about the stages of grief and it's all about the sensation that when you're going through grief, the world seems to lose its color and you start to kind of just see things in black and white and you get very numb and everything kind of just escapes from you. Gris is a game with beautiful watercolor paintings for its backdrops and it's beautiful uh platforming it's more of a puzzle platforming type game absolutely beautiful if you can do yourself one favor it's just to look at look at gris the paintings that they have are just absolutely stunning the music is breathtaking if i can find a way to buy the gris soundtrack i would because that, that just feels like peace to me that and the soundtrack of Coffee Talk, which I'm never going to get over talking about, very much just feels like peace to me. Um, so yeah, I, I highly I highly recommend it. Most of the trophies in this game just have to do with completion, completing the story of the game. There are all a couple of trophies that involve going and looking in more of the more... Uh, hidden nooks and crannies of the game to find these statues representative of the different stages of grief but like i said it's a it's a pretty short trophy list if i'm honest we are looking at a trophy list of about 18 trophies so it is very very short um with red blue and green red green blue being the first three trophies and each are being just going through the game and exploring the different elements of stuff not it's not that difficult at all um but in the blue stage in the blue level is where you're going to find depression the fourth stage it is where you where i first realized that this game was about grief and you're gonna find it for finding a statue of your character falling to the bottom of the ocean and it is kind of heartbreaking because when you once you've noticed it like you start just staring at it and i remember getting this trophy and be like oh oh it's like having a, a film peeled back on you and it's surprisingly a harder hit it's, i think it's especially a harder hit because i'd played through so much of the game without realizing it you know um yellow a color has been brought back the end finishing the game so now let's actually talk about some of the other trophies some of the trophies that are going to require you to put in the work as well like depression the first stage is called denial this is when everything is in black and white and instead of going to the right so you're going to go all the way to the left until it feels like you can't keep walking once you get there, you'll find a statue of your character with her head down and her arm out, just waiting and trying to get her way out of it. And it is hard. Sandstorm. Avoid the sandstorm. In the red stage, there's, a, there's very much a stage where you're going through. And there is um, stage select, so you can always go back and pick it up again. Nothing, nothing is unlocked. But well, once you get to the part where the sand is pushing your character around and the storm is pushing your character around, by being inside and timing it well, you'll be able to avoid the storm and get the trophy. This is, in my opinion, one of the harder trophies in the game. It is, because it's really all about timing, and it's a long segment as well. So, it's very much one of the ones where you try to play it safe rather than Play it safe and you should be fine. 
uh, anger, second stage. This is a trophy that while you were smashing stuff up, you have to smash up all of the statues before getting your all your black bits. The screen is black and white and it is quite disturbing. But by destroying all the statues around, you'll be able to get yourself the trophy. And my internet crashed. The next trophy is going to be Inuk Suit. Break the stone piles once again in the red stage. There are these little like cons is the best way to describe them. Using your down square ability to smash things up, you'll be able to smash them up and get yourself the trophy. Apples feed the forest friend. Once you fall down the tub and fall down to get a little forest friend, there are about eight trophies that you eight apples that you can get to feed him. By feeding him, you'll get the trophy. It is a okay. Bargaining is the next trophy. And it's the third stage. Once again in your Hello? Why is this now fighting me? Okay. Bargaining for once again in the red stage, right before you start to get all the colors, you can find a statue of yourself sobbing and getting that will be able to, you know, get the trophy. The next trophy is a trophy called Eel. Avoid the Eel Bites. This is when you are underwater and it is one of the more difficult ones as well. You're going to be chased by a giant eel that is in black. By keeping your boost and your movements right out of the bite of you'll be able to get the trophy. Not easy by any one standards, but you know, it's fun. Uh, magic Falls, sing to the Magic Falls. This is in almost the final stage of the game when you are going through the big uh, Lotus Temple, is the best way to describe it. By singing to the birds, you'll be able to get the trophy. You have to go around and get all of them. This trophy drove me a little bit insane because the gravity is all wonky. The birds are kind of difficult to see because they are every which way imaginable. So just keep that in mind. You're in for a hard hunt. But PS, uh, PS5 trophies has guides up, so you'll be, you'll be just fine. Uh, find all the mementos. Again, there are collectible guides online that you can use. It is a okay. Acceptance. This is, I think, one of the only ones that you really can't miss when you're going through. Because it is still so obvious. You have to just go and find it. Right when everything is black and white again. But you have all your colors near the end of the game. What you need to do is you need to sing at the stat, at the gravesite. Letting all the flowers come to life and accepting the death. Childhood memories from the past. Once you get back to the final stage and you have all your mementos, you're going to find a little hole in your stage. By going there, you set up a cutscene and you'll get the childhood trophy. That is all of the trophies in this game. And that is going to get you the personal growth trophy. I am now not dealing with this very well. So I'm going to go be sad now. Thank you guys for listening. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.